video, we're going to talk about Archimedes' principle. And so let's let me see if we have a definition. It says, Archimedes' principle goes like this. When an object is completely or partially immersed in a fluid, the fluid exerts an upward force on the object equal to the weight of the fluid that is displaced by the object. So let's go ahead and look at that. Let's say we have ourselves a container here. And this container is going to have a fluid in it. Cool. And so this fluid is, we're going to take an arbitrary slice out of this fluid. Let's go ahead and take an arbitrary slice. And this arbitrary slice is going to look like this. So we're basically, and I say an arbitrary slice, but it's going to be an arbitrary volume. So this is the volume of water that's going to be displaced, if we can see that in our minds. Of course, the, the fluid level will rise, but that's the same thing. Or the fluid level, if we have it all the way to the top, it's going to actually leak out. So this particular um, volume element has a certain weight to it. And right now, it's going to be the weight of the fluid. And you have a certain buoyancy that's associated with it as well. That buoyancy is a result of the pressure coming from the fluid. So there's pressure, perpendicular forces acting all along the side of this object with its, uh, uh, against areas, elements of area on the surface, perpendicular elements of area. And it's going to produce, it's going to sum to the, buoyant, to the buoyancy force. So if we just put all of those elements of pressure, and of course there's many more, depending on the flatness the curvature of this surface. So we have all of these elements, these perpendicular elements of force acting on this object. Okay? So let me just read something to you. It says the forces on the fluid element due to the pressure must sum to the buoyancy force equal in magnitude to the element's weight. All right, so that, that, that basically is saying that it's all of these these um, perpendicular forces are going to equal to the buoyancy force, and that's this Fb that's in the center here, countering the weight of the, fl uh, the fluid. So this fluid is not sinking, you know, inside of it, uh, inside of itself, inside of the fluid. It's just staying there, ideally. So now let's replace this fluid, this, this idealization, with a solid object. Now we're saying that that solid object, the force, the buoyancy force on that solid object is going to equal to the water or the liquid that we were just talking about that's been displaced. Okay? That's what it's going to equal to. Pretty cool, huh? Oi?